Scotch, please. What? We're closed. I just asked for a scotch. I can't serve you alcohol anymore. Well, scotch is not just alcohol. It is the source for happiness. Well, we don't serve that either. I'll bet you'd serve me if I was a puppy. What? Yeah, you heard me. You would give me a scotch if I was a puppy. One of those puppies of yours. What are you talking about? Well, wouldn't you? You're saying that if you were a puppy, I would give you scotch. Yes. How would a puppy pay for his scotch? Well, let's say you had to choose between a man and a puppy. Who would you kill? What the hell are you talking about? I'm trying to make a point. A stupid one. You have to kill one of the two to save the world. Who do you terminate? Are you drunk? Not yet. So, which one? That's the idiotic question I've ever heard. Most idiotic. What? Idiotic is not a word. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Didn't they teach you anything in school? And don't try to change the subject. Now, I ask you a question. Which one? Which one? Jeez. Oh, okay. How old is the man? Are you serious? Yes. How old? I don't know. Uh, about my age. I'm not very young. Hey. Not too old either. What the hell difference does it make? If it's an old man who had a long and happy life. You would kill him. Or... If it was a murderer or a rapist. You would kill him. Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. You would save a fucking rapist and kill a puppy? Forget about it and watch your mouth. But you asked the question. Seriously. You would kill a puppy and spare a rapist's life so we could go fucking rape someone else. Well, you would probably choose the puppy over your own father. Oh, Oh, wait, now, didn't you say you hated your father? When did I say that? The other night, to Lenny. I said, I don't like my father lately. There's a big difference between dislike and hate. Yeah, well, you should show your... show more respect to your old man. Look, I really need that scotch now. Problem is, one's not enough for you. Well, uh, what can I say? I have a high tolerance. You broke a guy's nose, Dad. He called you a sex pot. For God's sakes. Just look around. Come on, take a look. You think this is some fancy bar in Manhattan? This is a shithole. 99% of the men who come in here are drunk and stupid. You're becoming one of them. Yeah. Who cares? I do. Sit down. Don't you treat me like one of your dogs. My dogs behave. They listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Animals give unconditional love, but mankind sucks. I gave up on mankind a long time ago. I see that. Come on. Give me one. No. I could go somewhere else, you know. I would rather spend time with my daughter. Maybe you should go somewhere else. I don't like to watch you get wasted and punch people in the face. That's not my father. Oh, God, I miss her for God's sake. I miss her, too. I don't think she'd like a drunkard for a husband. Yeah, I don't give a shit. She left me. Right. She picked cancer over you. 
I'm sure that was a really difficult choice to make. Let's see, should I stay with my husband and my daughter who I love very much or die of a horrible disease? Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. We agree on that. It's my birthday tomorrow. I know. First one without her. What do you want for your birthday, Dad? Uh, maybe a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> 